Hey there, and welcome to the Game Manager, your first step to becoming an amazing Game Master. Today I want to answer a question that a lot of my players have asked me, and that is, hey, how do you take that step from being just a player to becoming a Game Master? And the truth is, there is no such a thing. The way you become a Game Master is by being willing to run a game, getting your group together and just going for it. However, there are some tips that I believe can be very helpful to those aiming to become one, and tips I for sure would have loved to have heard when I started running games. The first tip I want to give you is try to make your job easier. You have probably heard of all of those amazing TTRPGs like Call of Cthulhu and Cyberpunk Red and Mutants and Masterminds, and you want to run them or you want to at least play them. But if you have been playing only Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition for the last couple of years and you already know that system by heart, maybe, at least for your first game ever, try to run that. Try to run a system you are already familiar with. This way you won't have to be shuffling through the rulebooks whenever you're not sure how to solve something. You will have an advantage, so to say. You might tell me, hey, what if I have never actually played a tabletop RPG before? Then, my advice, first of all, would be to try to play it before you try to run it. There are a ton of resources for aspiring players. You can go to the Roll20 forums, you can go find a local Facebook group, you can go to your local game store, or you can even go to some of the Looking for Games subreddits. I will leave most of them linked below. And that's a good way of getting to your first game. At the same time, I understand that many people don't want to go through that process. They just want to play with their friends, and maybe they're in a friend group where no one has ever actually played a tabletop RPG. Then, for your first game experience, I would suggest that you do not start with the typical systems. Like, this is the player's handbook. This is the basic rule set of Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. This one is the friendliest game for beginners, according to most people. Yet, it's still a 200-page book, and you still need to get your friends and yourself to read through this and understand how the system works before you start playing it. So, instead of that, I would suggest that you try a simple RPG. I have two recommendations for you. The first one is Lasers and Feelings. This is a single-page RPG where all of the rules, all of the character generation, all of the quest generation system can be written into a single sheet of paper. With this, you can explain this game to anyone in around 15 minutes and be ready to run it. On the other hand, I want to recommend Trophy Dark. Trophy Dark is again a super simple RPG that guides you step by step through character creation and through running the game. It comes with a pre-written adventure that's set in scenes, it tells you exactly how to run this game, and again, all of the rules are written in four or five pages. I will again link these resources in the description. Regardless of which game you wish to run, if you're not familiar with it going in, try to look for gameplay videos. There are groups that are playing these games and that have uploaded their content. By watching them you will at least get a general feeling of how the game is supposed to run and how the game is designed, and you will be more ready to actually run the game for the first time. The second tip I want to give you, and this one is, I think, the most important one. This is the one I wish I had heard before I started. That is, start small. Yeah, you can probably already envision that full world. In fact, this is the first world I ever designed. I put dozens of hours into it. I knew where everything was, I had this super cool overarching plot to keep the game going, and I knew what the major players were, like, politically, I knew what could happen if they went to different places, I had a lot of things ready. And I never got to run it. I ran a couple of sessions of this, and then the group I was playing with wasn't really up to it, the game, the group broke off, and I just felt extremely disheartened. And this is a feeling that a lot of newer game masters experience, and you have no idea how many people I know that have prepared this full world, prepared these, sometimes they also mess with like homebrew rules and homebrew systems, 
and just put so much effort into something that they never get to run because their group falls apart. And after they have that happen to them, they never want to run a game again, at least for a couple of years. So unless you're super sure that the group you're playing with is willing to go through this whole campaign, put months of dedication into it, much like you are gonna put dozens of hours into it, then my advice is to first start small. Start with a one-shot uh, module or a one-shot mission. A game that can be completed in one or two session stops. And that way you won't struggle to get the people to come, the people to try it and tell you, hey, this is really cool, I wanna play more of this, or just tell you, hey, this is not for me. So go find one shot. If you wanna homebrew it, that's fine. I still advise that you read through a couple of one shots of the system you will be running first, so you understand how the basic adventure is structured. And then, just run that. Don't start with a campaign, start small. And this one is connected to the next advice I wanna give you. The next tip is take from other people's work. There are a ton of experienced game masters that are publishing their already written adventures in sites like Drive-Thru RPG, which covers most RPG systems, or the DMs Guild and D&D Behind the Screen, which covers mainly Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. These resources are invaluable for new game masters, because when you're starting off, you do not understand the basic adventure structure. If, by reading through these and even running them, you will get the chance to understand what elements you need to account for when writing an adventure. If you want to homebrew your first mission ever, that's fine. I will still advise that you read through a couple of pre-written modules, because that way you will get a general feeling of what you need to prepare, and how the adventure should be structured. But my advice would still be try to run, at least for the first time, a module written by someone else, because this takes away a lot of the pressure on preparing your first game. You will have something to base your adventure on. You don't have to follow it line by line, but you will have a base, and you will be, have something to build upon. This will also help you a lot if during the session you're struggling a bit with improvising because you already have the module and you have elements to take from and just put those into your game. Now, the next tip is very important in my opinion and that is stay in your comfort zone. Understand what kind of game you enjoy. If you like roleplay heavy sessions, maybe for your first mission try an investigation, try a mystery game. If you like combat, then just send your players to track down an assassin or down to the mines to kill some goblins, depending on what game you're running, of course. Make sure that what the style of game you enjoy is reflected in the, your first session, because if you usually enjoy playing these games, you will most likely also enjoy running them. They're similar experiences, and they're experiences in which you will likely feel much more comfortable. Then, as you progress as a game master, you will likely want to diversify your games. However, for your first session ever, try to stay comfortable, because it's stressful, as I mentioned before, it's stressful to be behind that screen. So the more comfortable you are, you are the, more, the more focused you are able to be, the better the results will be. Now, the next one, and this is something that a lot of people sometimes are not ready for, is you will improvise. Simply put, Four minds think better than one. If you have a lot of ideas coming from your players, odds are that your module or your adventure was not accounting for them. And you need to be ready for that. And you need to not be caught by surprise by it and just roll with the blows. This is more of a mentality thing. Just understand that it probably will happen and you need to be okay with it. And yeah, maybe you will throw something dumb as a result or maybe you will make a mistake, but that's fine. Just understand that there is a very good possibility that you will have to face something that you did not account for. The next tip is communicate. Tell your players that you're new at this, that you will likely make mistakes and that that's fine. They will most likely understand it and be willing to pitch in. If they see you blanking and you told them beforehand that you're new at this, they are more likely to help you and to pitch in and just throw, the, throw you the solution or just give you a bit of leeway when you're running the game. Also, communicate after the session. If it was something you enjoyed and you want to keep doing this, this is something that applies to both new and veteran game masters. Always listen to your players. 
understand what they enjoyed, what they didn't enjoy, what was great of what you did and what maybe wasn't that good. Always keep a two-way communication, both before and after the sessions. And that way you will grow much, much faster as a game master. TTRPGs are a group activity. It's not all up to you and it's not all up to the players. This is a group effort in which we all want to have fun, we all want to have an amazing time, and that requires communication. The last advice I can give you is just go for it. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, things can go wrong, but you will never become a game master unless you start being a game master. Just call your group over, tell them, hey, I want to run this game for you. Um, if you're going for a simple RPG, in case you have newer players, or maybe your group doesn't usually play the game that you enjoy playing, tell them, hey, can you please just read through these rules? Maybe send them a, a shorter version. If you're running with experienced players, which is what I usually recommend for newer game masters, just do tell them, hey, I'm new at this, but they will likely help you with the whole experience. Being a game master is an extremely rewarding activity. You have no idea how good it feels after every session to have just one player reach out like, hey, this was amazing, I had an, an amazing time. It's something I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing so much that I'm considering making a career out of it. And it's something that a lot of people enjoy. Maybe you're one of them. If you want to become a game master, you're probably already ready to take your first step. Remember, make your job easier. Start small. Take from other people's work. Stay in your comfort zone. Communicate and be ready to improvise. And things will go all right. Yeah, your first session will not be perfect. Your 100th session will likely not be perfect still. This is an activity that requires constant growth from us. But the more you do it, the more comfortable you will become and the more you will start to enjoy this. Just jump into that abyss and join us as a new game master. This has been the Game Manager. If you're an experienced game master and have any other tips you would like to give to newer GMs, leave them down there. If you would like to see me cover any other topics, also just write down a comment. I hope you enjoy this, and remember, keep playing and keep having fun.